Have you ever wondered why fair and beautiful minded Libra is drawn to the very emotionally intense Scorpio person? Very interesting topic here. So if you are a Libra or Scorpio person, you have it in your big three, your rising sign, your sun or your moon, even your Venus or Mars, you're welcome to watch this. If you're already in a Libra Scorpio relationship, stick around. And if you want to be, stick around. This is the video for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mina, back with another compatibility video. So, the winner for my compatibility question that I asked you guys on my community tab was Libra Scorpio pairing. You guys seemed to really want that one, so I'm here to deliver. If you're new here, I'm an astrologer. My name's Mina. I love talking about love compatibility, if that's something you like smash subscribe so we can stay connected. I do release astrology videos once a week. All right, let's start the discussion, you guys. How can Libra and Scorpio come together in a romantic way? Pretty interesting. So to start off, Libra is ruled by Venus. It's an air sign and it's of the cardinal modality. So Libra is really, really relationship focused, period. They are built for relationships, they're built for compromise. They're built for diplomacy. They're built for anything involving social grace, which is why they can almost be like compatible with anyone to a degree, especially my Libra rising and moons. You guys are so relationship focused and because of that cardinal energy, cardinal is like a forward moving arrow. It's always moving forward and it's almost like solution oriented, I feel. And Libras are always willing to actively find solutions to bring people together, whether that's for them in their romantic situation or just in work environments being that peaceful mediator, they're drawn to helping people come together. And that's what makes them pretty compatible with a lot of people, even non-traditionally speaking. So Scorpio, on the other hand, is more focused on self transformation via their intense emotions because they are ruled by Mars and Pluto. Mars, keep in mind, Aries is Mars, which is opposite Libra. So Scorpio, it's kind of like, this is almost the opposition even though they are neighboring signs semi-sextile. So they have that Venus and Mars pool of attraction going on, just like with Aries and Libra coming together romantically. Um, but with Scorpio, they're a water sign and very, very fixed. So not cardinal. Whatever they feel is how they feel. And they don't like to be influenced by outsiders in terms of what's going on inside. They really want control over their emotions and how they interpret their emotions, how they transform themselves. And they really want to be the boss over like who they pick to spend time with, especially in a romantic relationship. They're just very serious minded because they don't easily trust people and let them in. They test them out to see what they're made of basically on a psychological level. So <clears throat> you have basically the most fair person, Libra, who can get along with pretty much anyone they set their mind to. And then you got Scorpio, just so discriminate and doesn't want to like get along with everyone. Only wants like a very small pool of trusted individuals. So how can these two come together? Well. I imagine that Libra, Libras are just beautiful people usually. They're very easy on the eyes and Scorpio is Mars ruled. So Libra, while it's not super assertive, I can imagine that they're just looking beautiful and standing out in that way. And Scorpio is probably drawn, yes, to their physical and social beauty and their kindness because they're seeing them interact with people and getting along and bringing people together. Um, it's very important to note, though, that I, I really think that Libra is never going to make the first move, but they are aware when someone likes them, for the most part, even if they don't tell you, because they understand how to attract things. That's their thing. They're Venus, and Venus is the grand attractor, and Mars is like the pursuer, the hunter. So very similar dynamic with the Libra Aries pairing. So the Scorpio is going to be hunting the Libra and the Libra is going to be very aware of this. However, Scorpio, unlike Aries, which is very direct and like in your face, is going to be more 
behind the scenes and slower moving because they just don't go with their passions as quickly as Aries or a little bit slower moving because of that fixed energy. So I can imagine they're slowly making their way to the Libra and really trying to test them. And I mean, Libras are just so socially intelligent, of course they're going to pass a test. And if they like Scorpio, they're so relationship focused, they're just going to, they'll get in there. They'll get their foot in that Scorpio door because they are just amazing at doing such things. If they want something, they know how to be so pleasing in order to get it. And no matter what, and if, you know, Scorpio might be wary of this because it might seem just too good to be true. Like, wow, the Libra is physically beautiful and they're saying all the right things. They're just so nice. And they never rock the boat because Libras don't like to, you know, get into arguments or anything if they can avoid it, like nasty Mars arguments. <laughs> so eventually Scorpio cracks and it's just like, okay, let's go with this Libra. Let's get together. Well, I mean, if they come together, they can really trust Libra because Libra is so, again, relationship focused. So they're just going to be naturally dedicated to the Scorpio. And with the Libra, their relationship is like number one in their lives. So they're going to really feel so important in that Libra's hands. Like, wow, this person's prioritizing me. And the Scorpio is going to really like that because Scorpios like to feel special and important, you know, in their romantic interests, their significant other's eyes. So Libra is going to be amazing at that. And if the Scorpio is taking the lead in most situations, Libra will really like that because Libra doesn't like making decisions that they don't have to. I mean, they do like the freedom to make their own decisions, but they kind of like being with a more direct, assertive partner that can make most of the decisions rather. And Scorpio is usually happy to do that. So even though it's not as like direct and in your face like Aries is, they might, you know, take a little bit longer, but they don't mind taking that active, aggressive role because they are Mars ruled. So they can be pretty comfortable here. I mean, Scorpio taking the lead and Libra following perfectly in line. It can be a very beautiful and tranquil relationship here. So what can go wrong? Well, the very thing that's beautiful about it is what can go wrong. It's so peaceful and consistent because Libra is just amazing at creating beautiful relationships and Scorpio loves this about Libra but sometimes Scorpio kind of likes some drama and some spice and arguments because they're Mars ruled they like arguing sometimes and they like you know transforming through disagreements and arguing with people and becoming deeper in with the um, partner that they have yeah, so they, they do view like arguments as like a transformation, like really getting at each other's throats and then like make up sex and then you get, you know, even closer together. And, you know, Libra wants to avoid arguments most of the time. So they might not give in to this like Mars need of Scorpio and Scorpio can get kind of aggravated with it just being so peaceful all the time. And Scorpio could get kind of annoyed that Libra's just kind of nice to everyone. Scorpio kind of wants to feel very special and they want to feel like they know someone on a very deep level. So they might feel paranoid that they don't really know Libra because Libra's just always telling everyone what they want to hear. So that could be an issue. And Libra could just feel like Scorpio's rude sometimes because Scorpio does need that drama. They can say like really cutting things and they know you on a deep psychological level, so the things are going to hurt. And Libra doesn't like rudeness or, you know, brashness or things that hurt in that way because they're Venus and they're very fair. And most of the time, they, they truly don't deserve it because they're such nice people. So they could get, like, really offended by this, like, out of line in their eyes Scorpio behavior. And they might not like to be tested all the time because that's stressful and Libra doesn't like to be stressed out in relationships in that Mars way all the time. They just want to know that the relationship is calm and steady and is not going anywhere. And if they feel like they have to battle for their relationship all the time with Scorpio, that can just really wear them out and it can make them feel like things aren't fair. And when a Libra gets to that point when they're like, oh, this isn't fair, even though they're relationship minded, they could walk out at that point because they don't do not fair, 
you know, things that aren't just for long, they'll, they'll back out eventually and that can really hurt Scorpio. So how can this be remedied? Well, of course, Libra could understand about Scorpio that they do need some of that spice and they can make it up in other ways and maybe, you know, they can get okay with arguing and maybe Scorpio can be more polite and not as cutting when they need that drama. Um, maybe Scorpio can eventually get Libra comfortable enough to open up and reveal their more true self and maybe Libra could, you know, really understand that Scorpio is so trustworthy so there's no way that they would ever like throw them under the bus or put all their secrets out there and kind of ruin their social life. Oh, that's another thing. Libra is a very social sign. Scorpio, not so much because Scorpio likes a small quality group of friends most of the time. And Libra likes like to connect with pretty much everyone. So their social life needs might be a little bit different. So if they can accept, you know, each other in that way that, you know, they need to bend and compromise, you know, Scorpio, let Libra be the social butterfly it needs to be, and then Libra understand that Scorpio might not want to be involved all the time in that type of thing. You know, compromise is key here, and just giving in, each giving in, and each bending, basically. If there's love, it's possible. Um, if the Libra has some water in their charts, that would be great. And likewise, if the Scorpio had some air, I don't know about fire, but at least air, I think that would balance things out. Um, it really makes me think of the astrologer Alyssa Sharp. I believe she's a Libra and her husband is a Scorpio. And she talks a lot about that on her channel, so you should check it out. I think her channel is the Divine Venus. But anyways, you guys let me know, how is your Libra-Scorpio relationship and how has it worked out for you? I would love to hear the stories and I will see you in the next one. Bye!